Salam, hello my friends. It is Monday. Oh my god, it's so white. The light from the window. I never know where the good lighting is in my room. But yes, it's Monday. I don't know if this is the start of a new vlog or together like a new episode or if it's part of another one because if you didn't know already, I'm combining a couple of days together. That's how you usually do in the my corner Ramadan episodes. So episode one, episode two, so on, so on. And yeah, I'm still editing so I don't actually know what this one will be whether it's part of another one or if it's a new one of its own so anyways if this is a new one welcome hi slam welcome to the channel <laughs> and to this video um it's monday clearly it's a bit late now as you can tell um the sun is setting hence why i've got this beautiful light on my face i mean it does look kind of nice it makes like all my acne like vanish but yeah it's what time is it hot nearly half eight yeah i just prayed so um I prayed a bit late, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I fell asleep as soon as I got home. Um, I fell asleep on the sofa, in my work clothes still. Um, talking about my work clothes, let me hang them up while I'm talking to you guys. Because I just left everything on the bed when I went to do wuzu. Um, I fell asleep on the sofa for a bit. Then, then I um, went, came upstairs and I was going to change my, into my pyjamas and stuff. And like, um, go to wuzu and then I was in the bathroom for a while and my stomach isn't very good. TMI, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, it's just, you know, not very good. The food we eat and all that and everything. We had quite a bit of oily food the last couple of days. So we're having dal and jawal today. So, you know, lentils and um, lentil curry, obviously. And what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, rice, white rice. Um, I thought we were going to have roti, aka chapati. But my mum was like, she wanted to make rice instead. I'm like, that's more than fine by me because I love rice. I could literally eat rice every single day of the week. And my, your girl would be so happy. Um, oh my god, this blouse is going to stay. Oh my god. Do you know when you have like really silky kind of blouses? Like I got this really silky nice blouse that I was wearing today. And like they just don't hang up on like... The thingy. I have like one of those over the door kind of hanging things and it's not going to stay because it's too silky to the point where it's not going to stay okay i think that might work okay i've stuck something else on top of it so hopefully that'll work also look who is in my room it's princess princess hello 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 i'm not going to touch her too much because if i do i'll have to wash my hands because i'm allergic to the cats <laughs> But this is her favourite spot. She likes sitting right here. I have these two big cushions here. Um, which, I mean, there's no real purpose for them. They were just transferred to this room and we moved. One of my sisters had them. They had them in their shared room in the old house. And then they just put them here. And they just stayed here for like six months now. But anytime she comes to the room, she pretty much always sits here. And that's my masala. That's my masala sits. Because I have no proper place to put my masala. So I put it on this like stool thing. But anyway, she sits here. Or she sits right here. Let me show you. So you guys have seen my little book corner, right? If you watch my other videos, she sits there. So, yeah. She really enjoys being in my room sometimes. I have no idea why because I don't really play with her very much. So I don't really know why she likes being in my room. But anyways, yeah. So today's been alright. I've just been very sleepy. Um, It's Monday though, so kind of expected. Didn't get very much sleep last night, obviously. Because before Seti, I only slept like an hour, an hour and a half, I think. Very little amount because I was doing other things. I remember me and my mum were watching something we have <laughs> this is so like irrelevant but like we've been watching charmed like you know do you guys remember Charmed from like the 2000s and late 90s 2000s basically it was rerunning on the tv since about the time we moved to this house and we started watching it on the tv and my mom was really into it because she goes out she used to watch it occasionally when she was raising us because obviously she had me and my other sister in the 90s she goes that um like the late 90s she goes while she was raising us she obviously couldn't watch every single episode but whenever it was on and she had the chance to she would watch it so she really we really got into it and then we started recording all the episodes and watching it and literally we had three more episodes left which finished last week so wednesday thursday friday were the last episodes um of the entire eight season show which is crazy so we had them recorded and then obviously Ramadan started and then like obviously we haven't really been focusing on tv like tv is not priority plus we don't watch a lot of tv anyway like we watch i watch definitely me personally i watch more netflix and youtube than anything else but anyways last night um after praying no was it after oh it was after iftari because we had iftari kind of late me and mom because mom my mom went to the shower last night after breaking her was up but then she didn't eat like a lot of food she just broke her fast with like you know kujura stuff and she had like a small little like what do you call it like a like roll thing like swiss roll um is that what you call them 
like, you know, pastry rolls. Kind of like small sub, but like a roll. <laughs> My mind's not working. She had one of those and then she went to the shower and I ate. And then I waited for her and then we watched one episode of that. And then after that we came upstairs, we prayed the Ravi, we read Quran and all that. And then by the time it came to go to sleep, it was so late. I don't know why we sat and watched the episode. We really shouldn't have because like it was a whole hour episode. So yeah, it wasted a lot of time. Um, but it was fine because my mom was still eating then. So like while she was eating, we were watching that and I was editing. So my Ramadan vlogs. Um, so yeah, so we ended up watching that. And then obviously when we came upstairs, we prayed and then it was really late. So we only had an hour and a half sleep, I think. Woke up around... Well, my alarm went off at half two, then 2.45, but I didn't wake up till three, so, I mean, it's not that great because um, the fast is closing a bit earlier now, it's like 3.20ish something, I think, so I had very little time. Um, I rushed everything, so yeah, um, and then obviously after, after Fajr, I had like two, three hours sleep, again, two hours sleep maybe or something like that, so very little sleep, but that's very much expected in Ramadan, um, so, I mean, I expected it, but obviously because it's a Monday, Mondays always feel a bit like... <sighs> like nobody likes Mondays. I feel like if you like Mondays, you must be like some kind of special human being because most people don't like Mondays. Um, so because of that, it was even harder with the lack of sleep and then it being Monday and stuff. So yeah, but I had a little nap while I was on the sofa downstairs. Like I said, I fell asleep for like 20 minutes or something. Um, I was checking something on my phone. I was just like relaxing. Like I had my legs stretched down. I was relaxing and then I fell asleep. So <laughs> I mean, that's fun. Um, I'm okay now, I'm wide awake, especially since I've done wudu, like I washed my face, like I used my cleanser and washed my face, even though I'm not, I'm not wearing makeup or anything today, I haven't worn makeup for like weeks, I don't even know the last time I wore makeup, um, so, but like I washed my face with my cleanser, like to get all the oil off my face and stuff, because my face was sweating quite a lot, because the weather was very good today, skin was very oily today, um, more oily than usual, so, washed my face, did wudu, and that's made me feel more awake now because obviously I've washed my face. I feel like once I wash my face, I can feel I feel more wide awake because like I feel refreshed because like there's been water on my face or something. So yeah, so I did that and now I'm okay. So I've prayed and I, that's why I've still got my scarf on. But I think that's a clear, like everyone understands why I've still got my scarf on because I obviously I'm not full time hijabi just yet. So I think it's quite evident why I still had my scarf on. But anyways, yeah, I was gonna go downstairs now because. Fast, the fast opens in like 20 to 25 minutes and my, apparently my dad's making more rolls because he's going to do like a hatam thing like at the mosque um, near our house because um, both of my grandparents from my dad's side, my daddy and dada have passed away obviously previously like in recent years and when it comes to Ramadan we always do like a hatam in their name and stuff and everything and like we do food for the mosque and stuff so uh, we used to do that in the old house um, the last year or so um, for my grandma it's only been one year this january this year beginning of this year was one year but my granddad has been about three to four years now i think um it's time flies to be honest i'm not sure remember i think it's four years um so we're doing he's doing hot thumbs and stuff for them so he's making food a little bit over the week because he's gonna do it for friday because it's friday's jumma and everything so i think he wants to do it for friday um but yeah so i think he was making some rolls and my sister hero was helping him and i think she was saying that he's still doing them so i'm gonna see if he needs any more help my battery's also dying so i'm gonna put it on charge very quickly uh before it's dirty so yeah that was all it's just me updating you on everything that's been going on today which is a lot i'm so sorry um but yeah, i'll catch you guys at dirty time yeah okay <laughs> Um, and I'm sorry if these vlogs are so boring. I don't know how I'm structuring them this year. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with them. Um, so I'm very sorry. But I hope you're enjoying them nonetheless. But anyways, yeah, okay. I'll catch you then. <laughs> I didn't actually film this early today. So I thought I'd quickly film it out before going back to sleep. I've just prayed for Joe. Wow. The light from my lamp is, like, very bright. Um, yeah, I've got my sleep cap on underneath here, but I've sprayed budget, and yeah, I forgot to film Sally because I was running late. <laughs> my sisters aren't fasting today, and my dad, <laughs> he went all the way upstairs to wake up Hasna because he thought, oh, if I wake her up, she'll wake up me and my mom. Even though it way, way, it would have been way easier if he just came directly to my room because my room's like on this floor, like not that far from his room <laughs> and my mom is in the same room as him so I don't understand his thought process but I mean early morning so I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> about his thought process but anyways so we ran a bit late so um I didn't have time to eat porridge either because I didn't have time to make it because like I think I mentioned before I don't really like overnight oats I don't know why I feel like it gets all mushy and stuff and I don't like the texture of it so I'll make fresh porridge every morning every city so 
I've got my retainers in, sorry. So I've got a bit of a lisp probably a little bit. So yeah, I didn't have time to make porridge. So I, instead I took out one of my sister's bagels. Um, my sister here actually like meal prepped for most of Ramadan. I think she's got like enough for like another week or two maybe. But basically she made like baps, buns and like bagels filled with like meat and stuff and cheese and stuff like that. And then she froze them. So I had, I made one of those, but obviously normally what the girls do is they leave it out overnight. Like after, before going upstairs to eat dravi, they leave it out so it defrosts. And then by steady time, all they're gonna do is put it in the microwave and heat it here. But obviously I didn't have time to do that because I decided literally last minute, I was like, oh, I haven't got time to make porridge. So I'll just have that. I mean, really, realistically, I could have just had like a couple of dates and water and I would be fine. But in my head, I'm like, why that doesn't sustain me throughout the day? Which is so stupid because it should so I instead I had to defrost it in the microwave So I had to like use the defrost setting and then I had to like warm it up. Oh, it was so hard, but it's fine I ate it. Um, it was a bit salty because like the cheese in it obviously is not too salty and like The meat in it, it's like meat slices Um, because you can get halal meat slices from like Tesco and places like that and like It's kind of like processed meat like deli meat I guess and they can be quite salty too So you really shouldn't eat really salty food for Suhoor because then you'll just end up thirsty all day but I drank a lot of water so hopefully I'll be okay and I had yogurt with fruits and stuff like that so hopefully it compensates like balances it out I don't know but anyways my stomach is hurting because I like ate so much and I ate it really quickly because I was really late so yeah so I'm gonna go sleep now it's nearly quarter well it's just hit literally just now quarter past four that means I have about five six about three hours ish sleep because uh, yesterday I woke up at half seven I'll probably wake up around the same time again today I have my alarm set like my main alarm because I have like a main alarm clock back there which you guys can't really see because it's like a lamp that is like a night lamp too that's my main alarm clock and I have that set for seven o'clock and then I have mini alarms on my phone after that so like 7 15 7 30 um usually I always set the big one so like I get out of bed and turn it off but what happens, I get out of bed and turn it off and go back to bed. <laughs> so it's kind of like an initial one. It's like an initial wake up to wake up my body from sleep. Because then after that, I won't be in deep sleep. It won't, it'll, won't, like in the next 15 minutes, I won't go back into deep sleep. So when my little alarms go off, I'll wake up more like most than likely. So yesterday I woke up at half seven. So maybe I'll do the same thing again today because I had more than enough time to get ready. So yeah, but anyways, that is all. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys, update you guys what happened with Sari and Suhoor because normally I film like what I eat and stuff, which I mean, I'm sure that can get kind of boring, but I hope that you guys are enjoying the layout of these vlogs because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Um, it's been two, two to three years I've been doing Ramadan vlogs now and like I've stick to this kind of same routine of like structure of the way I do them and I don't know if it's working or not, but I mean, it's what I naturally gravitate towards. I have a very like, kind of like storytelling in nature so I'm just like here I'm having my suhoor and now I'm doing this and now I'm doing that it's kind of like that kind of structure and it's just natural it comes natural to me so hope you guys don't mind because that's how most of my blogs tend to go anyway like even regular blogs so yeah but anyways that is all I will catch you guys tomorrow when I come back from work I can't really film a lot throughout the day anyway because I'm at work can't exactly film there so yeah um so I always catch you guys when I come back from work tomorrow and hopefully I could finish editing some more of the videos I barely got through the editing, it's just taking so long. Editing can be very grueling sometimes, especially if there's a lot of footage to go through. So yeah, hopefully I can do some more of that tomorrow. But anyways, I'll catch you guys then. Okay, bye guys. Bye. I need to sleep now. Bye guys. Uh, wow, my eyes hurt so much. I'm a little bit late home today. It's, what day is it today? Tuesday? Oh my God, it feels like a Thursday or something. It's Tuesday. Um, It's now half past eight. We got in around just after half seven um yeah basically after i finished work i found out my mom was at my brother's parents evening and the school isn't very far it's like along my bus route so i got off early and walked to the school and met with my mom and my brother and then we went to aldi to pick up some fish for tonight because my mom wanted fish like fish in the oven um so we picked up some fish and like some chips because we need chips as well because we're going to like oven bake chips and stuff like that so we got home pretty late so i just prayed a son that i'm about to go down now because i can help her because we've got like 25 minutes or something like that till um if sorry time because it's like past um seven past 8 50 now when if sorry happens my hair is a mess wow i had like 
things to sit up and everything and it just looks so bad. Today was wasn't too bad, I'm just very worn out and tired because last night I didn't have very good sleep so um yeah. Wow, I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm always out of breath when I speak. But anyways, I need to pop down very quickly so I just wanted to very quickly, quickly come up and say I'm back and I haven't done anything obviously because I literally got in, put all the food away that had to be put away, put out what needs to stay out, like the things that needs to go in the oven. Came upstairs, got into my pyjamas, washed my face, did wudu, prayed, I said. Um, so now I'm gonna go downstairs, oh, obviously. <laughs> so, um, I want to film some things with cooking so you guys can have different shots of like the vlog, like maybe see me and what I'm cooking and stuff, but my camera battery's dying and it needs to charge up. So I didn't, it was dying yesterday too, but I didn't let it charge up at all. So I'm gonna just let it charge today until if 30 time, that's like 25 minutes or something. So yeah, so sorry about that guys. There's not much exciting things in these vlogs, but usually my vlogs tend to be like this. So people who are watching them already know and expect that I'm sure maybe. So I hope you guys are enjoying it at least. Um, But yeah, that is what I'm gonna go now. Um, Cause my mom's probably waiting for me. I told her I'd only be five minutes and it's been almost 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna go. Okay, I'll catch you guys at Thari. I'm really excited to eat Thari today, honestly. Fish and chips and vegetables. Mm, great food. <laughs> great British food. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Hi, folks. It is Wednesday and I just got home from work. My head is certain that's why I'm holding it like this. It's almost half six now, it's just about to hit half six. I got home about 10, 15 minutes ago. It's just in my mom's room. She was folding laundry, so we thought, I thought I'd help her. So yeah, that's where I was. And I'm gonna get dressed, changed out of these clothes into my pajamas. But I still have started, so obviously I need to get changed. Need to do woo and pray. But also I'm gonna have a shower today because I need to wash my hair. I mean, I was gonna have a shower regardless, but like I'm gonna wash my hair. Um, and I, my sister's gonna go now, my Hirashi's gonna go now, so I need to wait for her to be done. So I'm thinking obviously if I pray now and then by the time she's out I can go and hopefully it'll be just before, before Dravi, not Dravi, before Dari time, so yeah. Well, I'm, I'm definitely tired today. I woke up late today as well as the morning. I woke up at 7.40, so I rushed so much, but luckily I was still okay. I was on time, I was like, I got there at 5. I am saying I got there at like five to, five to nine, so that's good. Wow, it's the cat in the playground, and it's not our cat. Where's it? No, is it our cat? Where is our cat? I've just seen a cat in the playground, in the school playground, and it's definitely not our one because I think our cat's outside too, princess. <sighs> Quarter to eight, okay, that's the time my dad's gonna give my brother a shower, so I need to get into the shower before and get out from there too, so yeah. Um, anyways. Um, that is all for now. I don't have really much to tell you guys. Um, nothing exciting to tell you guys, really. I need to edit the bloody videos, um, the Ramadan vlog videos, obviously. So I'm going to try and do that as well now. So yeah, that is all for now, I guess. I'm very tired though. My throat's feeling really dry, so I definitely need water. I'm going to drink so much water when, when I break my fast. I cannot wait. Very excited. So yeah, um, but I'll catch you guys at Iftari time, I think. So yeah, bye guys. <laughs> guys i'm back oh my god it's so late it's just gone past eight o'clock oh i got back home a long long time ago but went out with the mother and my sister here we went to matalan because we have a matalan not too far from our house like maybe like a 10 15 minute walk went to the matalan um i wanted to go to home barking so that was the main reason but i also wanted to see what nice dresses and stuff matalan had because we were looking at the website last night me and my sister husna so we thought we were going to store and look and so as soon as I came back from work, my mom was like, let's go. So yeah, I'm really tired, I'm really thirsty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very thirsty today. I didn't drink barely any water yesterday, which is so bad today, I need to drink more water, definitely. But yeah, um, my hair's a mess, it's gone very frizzy. Yeah, anyways, I bought a really pretty dress, but I can't be bothered to show it now because the bag's like all the way over the other side of the room now. 
so yeah but i need to pray also so i'm gonna go i need to get out of my clothes and then do wudu and pray also so i have no idea what we're having for if thirty. i think we're having naan and curries i think we're having curry and naan i think yeah salad and naan mm. I think that's what we're having, but I don't know for definite. But anyways, I will catch you guys then. But with Dari, I'm just very, very, very lethargic today. Um, mainly because we just walked and everything and I'm out of breath. And I can't drink water and stuff. So obviously, like, I'm really thirsty. Oh. Anyways. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll be alright. Oh. Wow. I'm just very thirsty, I need water. I'm, I feel, I'm feeling slightly dehydrated, I'm not gonna lie. And it's showing in my skin, because my skin's feeling dry. And when my skin's feeling dry, that's not a good sign, because usually I have pretty oily skins. I need to actually remind myself to drink water, a lot more water today at uh, iftari time, so. I will do that, but anyways, that is all. I've just said anyways like 10 billion times, I'm so sorry. I will catch you guys at iftari. Okay, bye. Hello, folks. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. Sorry, I'm getting my night clothes off from the back of my door because I need to get changed. It is Friday and this is the first time I'm vlogging today. So hello, welcome to Friday. I hope everyone had a great Jumma today and you know, got all those duas and everything and like, you know, had just a good Friday because you know, it's the end of the working week. Hurrah. <laughs> yeah, if you, you might have noticed from the way this vlog started or this specific clip started, um, I didn't vlog this morning for Seri because clearly I am not fasting. Yes, it happened. I am not fasting to this week, so yeah. So I had time to wake up this morning actually, because obviously I slept full hours. And I did my make so I did some makeup, just very basic, just kept it very simple. I just rubbed some kind of eyeshadow on my eyes, which I mean it wasn't really eyeshadow, I just matched it to my blusher. But anyways, if I look at my face now, it looks like I was never even wearing makeup to begin with because my face got so oily from the room being hot that we were in. Um that like my face sweated and honestly like, all the makeup disappeared i think i've got a bit of blush left right here on the top parts of my face but that's about it but anyways yeah so today's friday i'm back i'm back home i had to go shopping on the way home from up for my mom i went to holland's barrett's for her to pick up some tablets then i popped into boots um because i had to pick up a shampoo for my sister Hira, and then i also picked this up for myself too this is not my beauty channel but i might as well share this anyway um i picked up the neutrogena um hydro boost body gel cream this is the new range like they have the hydro boost range i know they have the skincare one so like for your face i didn't realize they do a body range too so i run out of my um body oil i really like this one by a korean brand called misha it's really really nice that brand um also i just love the brand but also that body oil is really nice i had i used that pretty much all of winter and i just finished it on my last wash day which was just like two days ago or something or whatever yeah yeah yeah, something like that two days ago. So yeah, I finished it, so I was really sad. And I was like, I usually have another cream that I order from another Korean website, um, a Korean brand one. It's called the Made Serra Cream by R XR Lab or RX Lab, something like that. And it's got Madagascar in it and um, Central Asiatica, which is really he healing and soothing. Because if you didn't know, I have acne problems not only on my face, but on my body. So that's fun. So it gets very itchy and irritated and sensitive. So I used to use that cream before I started using the oil. So I thought, oh, when the oil finishes, because we're going into summer, oil will be quite heavy. And it doesn't dry and absorb very well. So I'm the kind of person who just loves to put my clothes on pretty much straight away after the shower. Like, I don't want to be hanging around waiting for skin hair products to dry. So I thought I'd bake the cream again, but obviously I don't get paid till next Friday and it's an online thing so it's not going to come straight away anyway, even if I did have the money to pay for it, it wouldn't come straight away because it's coming all the way from Korea or America because their base is in America So for this website. So yeah, so I picked up something temporary, which is obviously this, the Neutrogena thing. I'm hoping it's such a big bottle, it was so cheap, it was like three, four pounds, I think, something like that. So I'm hoping it's good. It's got hyaluronic acid in there, which I mean, should be good for absorbing moisture which i like having in facial skincare so i'm hoping it's good and i'm hoping i don't break out from it or anything because it's got the methacone in it which is a silicone if you didn't know and it's also got petroleum in it which is basically like petroleum jelly like vaseline um which are fine and dandy most people don't break out from those i don't really know if i break out from dimethicone i just broke out from a product with dimethicone once so i'm a bit cautious now but both of those products are sealing products. Um, they like both ingredients, sorry, sealing ingredients. They both like kind of like create a seal, which is all fine and dandy. It's perfect because it helps seal in the moisture. But I'm hoping the other ingredients in there will actually help 
actual moisturize my skin if that makes sense and then those two can act like the barrier on top but anyways i'm bumbling too much on about a skincare product but anyway i bought that and hopefully it'll be last me until i can get my actual cream that I like and if i do really like this cream then i'll just keep using it until it runs out and then i'll go back to my other one or i can go back and forth depending on what i feel like i need if i feel like i need something more soothing i can use the other one if i don't feel like i need anything but moisture i can use this neutrogena one so yeah um, I haven't had the best experience with Neutrogena in the past, which is why I'm a bit cautious, but I really couldn't find anything that's not fragrance and stuff, because I can't use anything with fragrance really in there. There's perfume in it, but it's like the last ingredient, so, which is why I picked it up. It usually has to be like right down at the bottom of the ingredients in this perfume and fragrance, or like none at all, so yeah. But anyways, um, I came upstairs because I have to change into my night clothes because my dad wants help with frying in the kitchen. And I'm going to film that for you because I told him I'll bring my camera down and film what he's doing because he's doing like a Dalbert thing. Um, wow, well, I've got something in my eye, I can feel it. Across the road in the mosque, he's doing a Dalbert thing like he's giving the food to the iftari. Um, and he's doing it in my granddad and grandma's name, like he's doing it on like, behalf of his parents, my daddy dada, who have passed away a couple of years ago. So he's preparing, he's been preparing stuff for that for like the past week and he's just frying up some things. For later because in about an hour no two hours i think is um if the time because it's like about half almost half seven now so he told me go get changed because the old clothes are gonna start smelling and then come and help me because i'm obviously wearing a dress today because it's dressed down friday today so i wore a very pretty dress but it was cold so i had to put a cardigan on top and i had to wear tights underneath my leggings because it was way too cold to wear them by themselves so yeah that's what my plan is for now and yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I will catch up with you guys later, I guess. I'll still show you guys what we're eating tonight for Iftari, even though like no one's fasting in the house apart from my dad today. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that is all. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Dandelions. Are they called dandelions? I don't know what they're called. The yellow ones are dandelions. These are daisy chains, and those ones are. Oh, ones. so pretty. The blow ones. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what they're called. Go okay, let's go around. Um. Yo. Um. Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks. I'm fine. We need to appreciate our natural earth. It is dying. I've got things in my boots. In my boots. There's a daisy on your head. Thanks. Oh, this is an Asian family doing it. They're more reckless. What? They've it's got like, a little one as well. An Asian family fam. Let's go. It's an Asian family. They're going to knock us over fam. The, the white man was nice. Okay, he moved around us. The Asian family. They ain't going to have any mercy. Okay. They ain't going to have any mercy at all. I'm saying that now. Let's go quickly before the motorcycle guy comes. Too fast for me. I'm like way behind you guys. Ah! <laughs> I did it. Where are we? Wait. There. Uh, across there. There. We're gonna go across to that side there. To, oh, I'm not even filming anything across to there. Oh, look at this. This hump. There might be hedgehogs in there. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Bushes, I'm running. 
I'm running for my life. I can't help it. You guys are going to leave him alone. Is it clever to walk backwards? No. Probably not, to be honest, is it? Oh, mum's made it how we came here, man, without her as well. But mom okay, so we just found out that we could have actually gone the way we were and just gone around because there was an entrance. Oh, my face. <laughs> down there. Sorry, because my finger down there that we could have just come back through. So now we're walking back here where the bridge is and that's the way to get back to our house. Oh, we're so dumb. But anyways, yeah, the bridge is really pretty. So we'll show you guys. I think you actually... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Huh. I'm so out of breath, you know that? <laughs> Here is the bridge. And this is River Coal. Or part of it. Okay, now I'm gonna stop filming, we're just gonna go back home now. <laughs> well, hi guys. I just realized I completely forgot to vlog today. Um, it's Saturday. Yeah, I forgot completely. I just finished filming a video for my main channel and that's why I'm looking like this. Um, it was a lipstick one, so my lips are very sore and swollen now. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, I just forgot completely. I went out to get my bus pass made and then I went with a walk with my sisters and hopefully I have some footage for that. I forgot to take my vlogging camera with me but i made some videos on instagram so hopefully i've downloaded them from my phone from instagram saved them and i will insert them into this vlog and not nothing exciting has happened today like i said um i literally just went to get my bus past me and then i went for a walk with my sisters for about half an hour ish i think then i came back and filmed this video and now i was just packing up my things and putting all the lipsticks away putting all my camera equipment away and everything and i'm gonna get changed my pajamas because it is almost 8 50, 8 40 sorry so um yeah i just it's very it's getting late now it'll be starry time soon and even though it's only my dad fasting in the house at the moment my mom's gonna make food for everyone so i mean you know so i'll eat it because i haven't eaten any lunch today at all it just isn't good when i'm not fasting i really should eat properly when i'm not fasting because your body just feels so weak then but it's fine <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, that's all. I'm gonna go down now. I'm just gonna like said change it to my pajamas and then Yeah, I don't know what I have planned for tomorrow. I think I just have a lot of cleaning planned for tomorrow to be honest if I'm being on Yeah, just a lot of cleaning if I'm being honest actually because I didn't do anything today So yeah, but I'll catch you guys then. I'll catch you guys later. Bye guys I'm so sorry that I didn't vlog much today and these vlogs in general have been boring. I'm so sorry Okay, bye <laughs>